Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. This sound is so often drowned out by the noise of the engine and yet it's one of the most important. Legions of engineers run tests and analyses on the circuit to ensure that the air pressure is right. Every bit of information counts. As for the drivers, properly performing tyres are ultimately key to success. Because that's what, you know, the tyre pressure is, is the contact between me and the road, and that's what I feel. And uh, some drivers prefer slightly softer pressures, some drivers prefer slightly harder pressures, but we're only talking a minuscule amount. So it's, it's the feel, that's what you feel the road, the road with. Um, but you know, Dud Dunlop, who, who provide the tyre support for us, they advise us of a window we must keep in, um, but we try and run ours as, as low as we can. Regardless of race series, type of track or tyre compound, the key to good grip is the size of the contact patch. A racing tyre is very sensitive. Uh, let's say a tense of pressure can make your tires to work or can also destroy your tires. Therefore, it's uh, it's very important. It's a very high job because the, temp the pressure, temperature, track condition, they all work together. The lower the air pressure, the greater the contact with the track. However, that also makes the tire heat up faster. Within limits, a fine idea, but it mustn't be overdone. Drivers are thinking at reducing, reducing the, the inflation pressure uh, will allow them to be fast, to be faster. In the meantime, if you reduce the inflation pressure, you allow the tire to deflect more vertically, and then you may create some uh, some uh, some carcass or ply failures. The conundrum is that excessive heat and inadequate pressure make the tire literally rub itself away. That's due to flexing. This deformation goes deep into the tyre, causing it to heat up far too much. Combined with the physical distortion, disaster looms. What happens first is that tyre wear increases significantly. Next, due to the increased roll resistance, fuel consumption goes up. And the third thing that happens is the tyre loses its rigidity, making the vehicle's handling sluggish. Exciting pursuit races with fast, heavy cars, as in the BTCC, put an enormous strain on the tyres. If your air pressure is too low, you can lose stability and are thus dramatically underestimating tyre pressure's performance. If you don't have enough uh, air in the tyre, it can't take the loads that you need. And, and each, depending on the, obviously the weight of the car, the size of the tyre, etc. But you know, for, for example, a two-litre touring car like these, we would look at something like uh, at a hot pressure of about 2.1 bar would be what we would be looking to see around here. You know, I would say pretty much most of the guys at the sharp end of the grid will have tyre pressures very, very, very similar. Little, tire, tiny bit different. For tyres and vehicle type, the air pressure range is therefore narrowly defined, thus enabling tyres to work in a controlled way, producing grip. Extreme straight line and lateral acceleration in Formula One and lightweight cars call for tyres that can be driven with low levels of air pressure. Too low or enough, firm tyre walls help to widen the air pressure range. The gas enriched air expands as it heats up. One reason why the tyres are preheated, because the pressure can change and in the race is therefore extremely important. The pressure is everything. Uh, something like 70% of the pressure of the, of the air in the tyre takes the 70% of the load. So the tyre itself only actually takes a, around 30%. So it's clear why tyres are tested, analysed and talked about so much. So that on the next stint, the teams can exert proper pressure. Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.